check it out. There's another ship here. It's a different ship this time. Check this out, lad. We've got ourselves a cannon. Check it out. Someone's cigarette packet in there. It's blowing its tits off. <laughs> check it out. Check this out. It's broken. It's shattered glass. I wonder what happened. Look, maritime police. So here's another view from this wharf. Looks to be an oil tanker. Check it out. Jeez, look at the size of this one. He said it's over seven meters long. Called the Soren last. Check it out. You can get a closer look on that. Ow! We are back, it's Corbsy Outdoors. We are back again. We are now outdoors under the Harbour Bridge. I'm literally right under it. But I just want to show you this. Check this out. Check it out. There's another ship here. It's a different ship this time uh, compared to the other big cruisers. This one has got like a kid's like, I don't know, I don't think it's a kid's, but it's a slippery slide. You know the thing you get in the water parks? So that yellow stuff up the top there is like a long ass slide for them to go down probably a massive pool up there as well and that's pretty rad that's that's probably one of the coolest ships I've ever seen but the wing on it that wing back there looks massive like when I was walking through the street I could actually see it from there and it just looked like there's a big airplane that's lost its wings it was like the most craziest thing I'd ever seen but there's a cannon another cannon up here that we're gonna go show you is real quick before we go down to wharfs two three and four I think one, one to four. Wharfs one, two, three, and four, or it could just be wharfs two and three. But the other day we were down that way, sort of walking along here. This was the hotel that I showed you. So this is the other side of that hotel that's like along the water. And in that pirate ship that was in the water is actually just right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's masts and everything is like right there. So I had no idea that this hotel had a rooftop terrace. I don't know what it's for. So we're gonna go over there where all those cannons are. We're gonna go check out the cannons today. So we'll go to the first cannon, and then after we've checked out the first cannon, uh, I'll bring you all to uh, the other two or four cannons that are just down here. So there's one cannon, which is right over here. Check it out. Check this out, lad. We've got ourselves a cannon. Let's have a look, it's the upper gun battery. So we'll bring you to the sign as per usual. There's the sign, it's the upper gun battery. There it is, Francis Greenway designed and stuff. And then this picture's a bit all messed up now. Uh, well, I don't apologize for it because I'm not the one looking after it. So this looks like it was on a rotating system. So this is how they rotated it back in those days. So it was on wheels, look at this. It sits on wheels. On the other side as well and then they just spin it whenever they needed to change the direction of the cannon that's amazing actually that's pretty smart like back in those days and you got like a step ladder you jump on the step ladder and then you go shoot up the cannon lad check it out it's a pretty big cannon though they were shooting all the stuff down there look The wind is hectic. Look at the chop on the water. It's so choppy. You can even see like little waves just forming out there. It is very windy down there. Kind of want to go down to the wharf, but I don't know anymore. See here again. Doors Point, Tara. So, I don't know if these were like spares or, or what this was, but some more cannons there. More cannon there. Check it out, check it out. Someone's cigarette packet in there. Yeah, wonderful. Hey, look at this. And the bin's right there. Mind you, like, like the bin is literally 20 meters away from the cannon, but they want to put their dirty cigarette packet in there. I understand. This is, this is what you get, all right, people? Look after your country, pick up your trash leave it there all right well you can see how windy it is there's, a, there's actually a flag up there it's blowing its tits off it's blowing its tits off today so that's where we were walking the other day just down there 
going for a cruise but I want to go check out the wharf because I've seen some people been doing fishing and stuff along here and I actually want to go see what that looks like because um, I have been thinking of bringing my rod down one day for work and then during my lunch break just coming to have a, like a random flick for fun so uh, I heard there's a lot of wharfs and stuff over here where people do fishing so I figured I'd come check it out Good down this way. And there's a the bench just over there. That's where we're going. Going towards Ivy Steps. So this is the west side of the harbour. For those that are wondering, this is the western side of the harbour. Eastern side is that side, which is like to, more towards the opera house, things like that. Going down the stairs now. Whoop, we almost fell. There we are. On the other side, it's going to be super windy, which I do apologize for, but I kind of, I just want to show you all what the side of the harp is about, so I think I have to walk even further. I oh, know, it's just down here, it's like I can walk on the wharf. Oh, there's a lady fishing just down here. So I was telling us about the fishing. Oh, there's a, there's a couple down here doing some fishing. That's all right. Have a yarn of one of these old. See if they see if they catch anything down there. Look out that nice boat. That's Mr. Rich Man over there. Look. Living the dream over there. They're all living the dream. I think this is wharf two or three. I'm not sure. And all the oldies back there just grumpy. But I'm not sure what wharf number this is. We'll have a look and see if there's a sign around here that can tell us what the wharfs are. And then we'll figure out what each wharf is. One, two, three, four or five. Let's have a look. There's no sign that tells you what each wharf is. Might be one here. We're walking towards the sign if anyone. I want to see exactly what wharf we're going. Or what, what these wharfs are. But we're here but that's not quite where we are but it says pier 2345 shawman apartments pier 89 but that doesn't look right no pier 2 and 3 i think that's where i saw someone making a video catching salmon and just over. was it in between those piers i think you have to go around can you go around on those piers let's have a look I think you can go around on those piers. Yeah, it looks like we can. We'll go, we'll go have a look and see if we can actually walk around the pier. Luckily that's breaking most of the wind on this side. Ten kilometers an hour speed zone on the wall. People like, I think they bring buggies and stuff down here. It's a speed zone. Because the the river so quick to just vlog in it. We weren't having a good time today. Cool. The other side over there. Yeah, look at them over there. I won't show you. Either. I'll stop filming now, and then once I get to the end, I'll start filming again. We'll see you then. Ow! So we're walking down the wharf a bit and I noticed something as we were walking past this section. It's like a big rock. It's like a big rock over there. Like smashed on top of like some car. <laughs> we'll walk around the roundabout a bit so I can have a look at it. <laughs> Check it out. It's like full on. Look at it. <laughs> Someone's chucked some stickers on there. Look at the exhaust pipe on it. It's still freaking silver. It's not even rusted, lad. It doesn't even look old. It's not even rusted. <laughs> this is a big rock in there. I'm wondering, like, was this found somewhere with the big rock in it? Or did they put it here, then smash the rock on top of it? That's what I want to know. Like, like how, did, <laughs> how does it end up there? <laughs> 
when someone drew an eye in it. See, there's a mouth, an eye and an eye. It's like a little mouth. <laughs> it's like a little mouth. That's so cool. It's so good. <laughs> anyway, I'll go to the next. I think this is Wharf. So we're just two and three, so we'll do four and five, and then we'll go back towards two and three and head back to the bridge. Ugh. She doesn't even want to wear my sunglasses. Oh, there's more signs here, look. It's the seawall timber piles, which are all the ones underneath, so if anyone needs to read it, there it is. Usual drill. Now how it goes, pause it. It's an elevator over there. Pier Coburn. I think there's a lot of firms and things around here. Up in these buildings. Everyone coming for their runs today. Yeah. I think I know now why a lot of people don't do like the whole crowd filming stuff because everyone just gets annoyed by it. It's like they've never seen it before. We're gonna head down that way, all along that wharf, see what we can find. Alright, we're back. Just didn't want to do any recording while we were going past the dance studio. Might have been rude, you know. They might think that we're recording them or something. All the girls in there dancing around, prancing around. Luna Park is just over there for those that are wondering. Luna Park right over there. Trek out the Luna Park. But something hectic has happened here. Check this out. It's all broken. It's all shattered. It's all shattered glass. I wonder what happened. Something big must have hit that because that's thick glass. That's like really thick glass. So something real massive must have hit that. Don't know what though. Oh look, it's the Maritime Police. Look, look, Maritime Police. Look at it. So here's another view from this wharf, which is wharf three and four. And that's our view. There's no fish though. It's nothing. It's dead. I spoke to that guy over there, which is that fellow, that young fellow just over there. It's an islander. He's been fishing there for a couple of hours now and hasn't caught anything. So, yeah, I don't know. The sun is beating my eyes now, so we're going to put the sunglasses on. I know I look goofy with them on, but I'd rather spare my eyes than have them die on me. Ah, this is where this wharf is. I was wondering where the boat wharf was. So this is the wharf where everyone comes to park their rich yachts and big boats and stuff. It's along this wharf and then probably the next one over because it's private landing not for public use so that's all private it's all private stuff. That whole strip was probably for like the people that own those hotels and condos and stuff. So we're just gonna walk back towards the office now so I'll check in with you when something exciting happens which I don't know when. Soon? Who knows? Check that out, it's a big ship. She will go around the corner. Check it out, there is a big massive ship coming. See if we can get you guys a nice view of that. But it's massive, like it is huge lad. It's called the Eleonora. I think it's an oil tanker. Looks to be an oil tanker. Check it out. How good is it, lad? Thing's huge. Oh, I'm not even showing it, but they look. How good is it? It's massive. Oh, look, we got the Element coming past as well. That's a nice yacht. Wow. Yeah, some rich people around there. Sydney full of the riches. Look at them. Check that out. The Eleonora. It's mad. You know, we're just walking. Check this out. There's another one. This one's called Majestic Cruise. 
It's a cruise liner. People pay to get onto that one. Unlike the one that we saw before, it was just some rich person owning a yacht. Whereas this one is just a cruise ship. And you can see the big oil tanker still all the way back there. Jeez, look at the size of this guy's rod. I went and asked him. I didn't want to do it with the camera on, but he said it's over seven meters long. It's just a telescopic rod. So it's literally just a straight rod with the tip on it. And then he feeds the line through it. But there's like, it's not like a proper rod with a reel and stuff. So. Yeah, hopefully he gets himself something big. But uh, the Carnival Splendor, that's what that cruise ship was called at the start of the video. There it is over there. I think we're going to go past the pirate ship very shortly and then I'll show you all that. So, see you when we get back to that one. So, if this area looks familiar, it's because we walked through here the other day. We came through Campbell's Cove and the gates were locked, which they still are. So. The gates are still locked over there, but there's a pirate ship there now. <laughs> well, I call it a pirate ship, it's just a sail, it's a sailing ship. It looks Asian, like Indonesian maybe. Let's have a look, we'll get a closer look to it. Yeah. I can't see the name. Check it out. How cool is that? It's called the Soren Larsen. Soren Larsen sailing ship. All those masts are refurbished, they're all new. All the masts are new on that ship. Brand new. Oh, yeah, you can check it out, you can get a closer look on that. And a little water park on top of their cruise ship. How cool is that? Like a little water park. Let's go for slippery slides and stuff in there. So when they're out deep in the ocean, they want to have some fun. They just go up to the roof, roof of the cruise ship. All oh, the fun is. My eyes are burning now from the sun, so we put the sunnies back on. So we were the other day, if you remember, but it's just a different cruise ship now. It's the Carnival Splendor. It's the the Panama one. So that one's from Panama. I don't know where the one the other day was from or the one before that, but I'm pretty sure there's a new cruise ship like every couple of days. Nice cool sign. Up the stairs we go. <laughs> Cruising the stairs. Yeah, that's us. There we are. So we just walked around there. We're actually all along here. So I could have just walked like from there to there. Alright, that was the left side of your harbour. Hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and or subscribe. If you want to see the next video or the previous video actually, click on the link over there. If you want to subscribe, click down there and we'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe now. It's 85% of you. 85% of you not subscribe. So get onto it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything but helps me out quite a lot and it'll be much appreciated.